Welcome back, everybody. We got a best of one on our hands here. It is the final match of our group stages as we, we actually just witness, witnessed our first match of the bracket stages. That was uh, Numbers versus LGB. LGB coming out with the W on that one, but here we go. Dignitas versus LDLC Blue. This is the third of three tiebreaker one or best of one matches. So, to fill you guys in, you guys weren't following along, and I don't blame you at all, because honestly, it gets a little bit confusing. So, at the moment, our current score line, what we have for these teams is each team has basically one win. We've got Epsilon with one, Dignitas with uh, one, LDLC Blue now has an opportunity to, uh, if they get a certain score line, they can uh, basically tie things up completely. But what, what we're getting at is... If LD okay, stick with me here. If LDLC Blue win this 16 to 12 or better, as in Dignitas has a lower score line, so 16 to 11, 16 to 12, that kind of thing. LDLC Blue, they're going to move on with the first seed. Epsilon will be the second. If LDLC Blue wins this 16 to 14, they actually don't even move on. So they can actually, there's technically a way for LDLC Blue to win this and still not continue forward again because we're doing round differential if these guys end up uh, having that three-way tie once again. So that's basically the current situation. If Dignitas wins, obviously they go through and uh, they will be the first seed Epsilon as our second. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. Nonetheless, we're getting live into the pissed around here. I am Sprawl by my side. The one and only Laser Jesus, and uh, looks like we are going to have Dignitas starting on the T side of Overpass. Yeah, that is the case, and yeah, <laughs> what a <laughs> interesting way this could end, or is going to end. Either way, somebody is going to be unhappy with the scoreline differential, but Dignitas here, starting on the T side, heavy favorites here over LDLC Blue. I was just checking out the match of Dignitas versus NIP, uh, but 16-10, pretty Close score, but we got Dignitas going with the B-Rush, splitting up 3-2. Early frag onto Bully, overwhelming the bomb site. Haven't really claimed too forward of positions there. Falling back and thinking about flanking all the way around is pimp. Interesting stuff. Everybody from LDLC is rotating through the CT spawn area, though. Two players up from above going down to Nico. Big stuff from him. AZ finishing it off with two Ooh. frags there down below. Dignitas. That is a nice little B-take, and simple but effective. That's how you do it. Yeah, and I feel like we used to see on Pistol Round, a lot of teams put three players on the B-bomb site because of the effectiveness of, of running a pistol strat like that on the B-bomb site. In that situation, yeah, though, like they had one Inferno. on... Yeah, exactly. The, the same situation. So, uh, LDLC Blue, they take a bit of a risk sending three players up A and uh, losing Bully that early without anything from him uh, meant the B-bomb site was definitely open for business, and now in this round, they are going to stack the B-bomb site. So we'll see how this works out. Bully playing from Toxic Barrels, and he's going to hear a lot of gunfire. It's Bully coming up with two. Two for the tease as well. Nice pop flash comes in, and they're white-screened. And uh, it's going to be a flank coming in. Made it. Made EC coming in from stairs as Bully goes down. So two on three. Made EC is going to have a big roll, and he does blindside MSL. Now two on two as they're still trying to take up into this bomb site. Yeah, that flank for Maid C so big. Now down to a one versus one. Still no bomb plant. They both know each other's position, though. Kierby working the red. No, XP. What a shot. Frag through the wall with a pistol. Even to back up one to one. And Dignitas, you know, they're trying to build up that flinch aspect by continuing to hit the B bomb site. And LDLC Blue were wise to it. Just tried to stack the bomb site, and it was Bully. The Bully in uh, XPG. Oh no, it was made C on the flank that did the most damage. The timing of MSL, he was waiting for that flank to come through on short through the door. And the moment he turned his back, that's when made C came out. Bully, they didn't expect him to be at uh, the barrels because of how many players they saw, thinking it was probably just going to be default two players there. Uh, ran into the stack. Now, Dignitas, third round in a row, hitting towards B. Tech 9 up. Petite from above can't help out his teammates as they both fall into sight. A lot of players trying to rotate from above and. All these Tech Nines, even uh, they're not the most accurate at this range, but still putting in all the work necessary. And Dignitas oh might God. just get a clean sweep here. The three or a third time in a row hitting towards B. And it's interesting when it worked. <laughs> like it didn't work when they when they ran in there with guns, worked on pistol round, and now works when they just rush in there with Tech Nines, even though it's not the best weapon to play at range. But Petit really needed to do more for his team from above. Yeah, the defense there on the B bomb site. Uh... 
not the greatest at Dignitas. They're going to bring things back into their favor as they, they do so, picking up three FAMAS as well. And that's going to jumpstart their economy as they don't have to buy any rifles. They they went into the round with Tech 9 in armor, and they, they come out of it uh, well-equipped. So good stuff for them. I'm going to get that MP7 on AZ, just so you can have that SMG gathering a little bit more money into their economy and on the ct side they pick up a, a scout and I'm, I'm not certain who if that was just picked up by xpg if it was dropped to them nonetheless he's gonna have that and utilize it towards long three players stacked inside of the bathrooms here this is an interesting strategy they're on default pistols it's a good idea to go for something tricky and msl gotta find out that they're stacking this location but they're not able to take him down as he gets three quick frags they lose their scout player on long and now it's only Bully left. Yeah, a little bit of a bathroom barmy there. You don't often see stacks like that inside of the bathrooms. But Bully, okay, gets the bomb. Minor damage. No bomb plant for Dignitas. And taking a look at LDLC's money. Probably going to saving once more. They did go for the scout buy in the previous round. So now, might a couple upgraded pistols here and there. And I expect to see them go for... Another crazy stack, perhaps another B stack even, as Dignitas heavily favoring the B bomb site early. Are they going to go back to visit our beloved site? It looks like that's the case. LDLC once more stacking the A side. Save one player. That's Bully all alone here in B, trying to defend off the sewer. And yeah, it's going to get Molotov on his favorite spot. And Dignitas just waltz on in through the main entrance. And all of LDLC left here over towards A, trying to flank on through, and they're going to take multiple flank angles and thinking about going all the way around. So really patient stuff, and they're just hoping for exits here. And I could see the read from LDLC Blue. They, they were able to beat Dignitas on an eco round where they stacked in B, and, they lose, and, and now they're back in eco territory. They're probably going to work a slow A take because last time they went quick B, when we were ecoing, we stacked it and, and wrecked them pretty darn good. Yeah, but Dignitas, I love the mind games there. Go back to it, and you could see the LDLC totally thrown for loop there. They they only sent one player to B, tried to stack over near A, and again, it's Dignitas to win that mind game. So good stuff from them to uh, to not basically be predictable, kind of telegraph their strategies. And now we will see a rifle round coming out from LDLC Blue. They're gonna get uh, an AWP on the field. ADC picking that up. We'll see where he decides to go with it on this T side. Easy has enough to... Oh, no, he's just going to be dropped to FAMAS. So I thought they might bring out an op into the, uh, the hands of the T's, but not going to be the case as they head up towards Fountain. Pretty early on, they send two into Underpass uh, to try and get some work done there. And uh, what's the look from the CT side? They've got XPG boosted up in a pretty cheeky position halfway up mid. Oh, he's white screen though, perfectly for MSL to peek out. And he gets the first player, Petite Skill now. You know exactly where he's at. Crucial smoke though is going to allow him to fall back and find another angle. Yeah, he's got to find a bunch of angles here. Dignitas all over him right here. Petite needs to put down a lot of numbers. Can't do it, and this puts LDLC very tough spot. Going to have to save here. Both the remaining players in B, everybody of Dignitas all over the A-bomb site. And yeah, EDM as well as Made C. Just going to save these weapons. And this was a very important round for LDLC to win. Because now Dignitas are going to survive with four people. Their economy's out of control. LDLC dropped this one. Dignitas is probably going to win the next as LDLC will be perhaps saving. They might force up if they can you know, hang on to these two weapons. Ooh, oh. kept with a double kill. <laughs> one on to... Uh, one onto an opponent, one onto his teammate. Finished off through the smoke by AZ is made C with his AWP, and this is disastrous for LDLC. With those two weapons, they might have been able to squeak out a force buy, or I assume they would. But uh, now Dignitas, they win that round up five to one. Their economy is just looking out of control at this point. LDLC, if they don't win this next gun round, Dignitas, it's it, their money is just going to be so out of control. LDLC is going to have to win three rounds at minimum to put Dignitas back on the save. And the scoreline, the way it is right now, you got to figure Dignitas is going to win one of those. You know, LDLC going with another B stack here, and Dignitas don't seem to have learned their lesson here. Yeah, they're going to go for it once again and. We'll see how it works out as they are able to take down two immediately. Easy finding a third, and eventually we're going to see the CTs chime in with two frags of their own, but that's going to be the extent of it as Dignitas just roll into B, and 
all the players are there, so we're just simply going to kill all of them. And, and yeah, just to uh, reiterate, now you're talking about how in that uh, save scenario, if they keep those rifles, they would have been able to mine that last round. That was definitely the case being that Madic, or Made C rather, had uh, 6,800 still. And if you had the op that he was meaning to save, oh man, they actually would have had a pretty, de pretty decent chance in that last round. But instead, eco round, they save up for this one. They've got an op back on made DC, they decide to move him up aggressively up mid, but a nice smoke comes down. This prevents his vision from uh, the bathroom's area. He's going to have to have a wider angle, which makes him a little bit more vulnerable. Nico peeks him from uh, the balloon's area. Neither of them land a shot, but in the meantime, we can see that AZ and MSL have moved up very quickly up long. Made DC is going to peek out, but finds out the hard way that there is some tease lurking there. Nade comes over his head. Doesn't do a heck of a lot, but they're still trying to take up towards this A-bomb site. MSL eventually takes down Made C, and one thing that is going for LDLC, they still have players in mid that can work uh, from multiple angles of attack, but Kirby might be a thorn in their side. Yeah, Kirby coming through on the flank. MSL gets one. Oh, Kirby pulls a nade, but MSL from the bomb site gets three. What? Coming alive. Bully, last guy up for the CTs here. MSL is going to get the bomb down. His teammate is so very low. MSL can't finish off Bully. We're down to a one-on-one -on -one here. Bully from the site. Kirby in the bathroom area. Bully does not have a smoke here. He does have the Molotov. Throws it in the wrong spot, though. It's good for Kirby. Has one little tick from that Molotov. Would have got him. Peaks the corner. Wow, what? Kirby. Instant headshot onto Bully. That is so big. LDLC needed that round so desperately. Now they're going to have to force by, but Dignitas' economy is still out of control. And Dignitas just refuses to let up. So important that LDLC takes that. And it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing that nightmare situation we talked about. Yeah, it might not be so here as MSL. Uh, three quick frags there in the bomb site, and then yeah, Kirby to uh, finish up the job seven to one. Very convincing scoreline. The CTs with full loss bonus at this point. We do see rifles in their hands once again, and looks like Dignitas working for a short B play. Pip already peeking up from sandbags, and I'm gonna toss a couple nades over. Not a lot done as of yet. They're still not giving up. Bully hiding inside of a smoke close on short. And they actually have four players currently hovering around this B-bomb site for the CT side. So pretty good defensive look. But Dignitas actually moving back up and shift on over towards this A-bomb site. And I like this look from them as they leave one player, Kirby, uh, waiting for someone to lurk through uh, short to gather some info. And he'll be able to... Uh, Take them down, hopefully, for his case. But again, the bomb has rotated towards long A. They've got Pimp in mid currently, and they're going to try and uh, split onto this A bomb site. Unless they can maybe find a pick and work back. But with 45 seconds, their time is a little bit limited here. I like this decision from them. Made C's been looking a little suspect. And there it is. Jay Nico takes him down. And we got two players still here for LDLC. Blue as Dignitas slowly approaches the A bomb site with all of their players. LDLC. Still with 2 and B yet to rotate. Got to get a move on it. Bully, 12th XPG. Got to combine. Rush the Dignitas side. Bully is the only man doing it thus far. Now his teammate Petit has moved on through. Bomb goes down. HDM still on his way. But good post plants here by Dignitas. Still got some smokes up. Delaying LDLC even further. Petit now making his way up. Oh, has to rush through the smoke. Limited time remaining. MSL once more. Multi-frag with his AK. And Nico going to finish it off. Never mind. Just going to whiff a little bit. Bully. Can he make up for last round? Kierby and Bully once again left alone in a one versus one. Kierby, can he do it once more? Bully goes. What? Did he go for a kid or something? I He must have went for a yeah, kid. Yeah, he must I, have. I don't, I don't yeah. know. He didn't have a kid, so I'm 90% sure that's what he was booking it over for. As I, I can't think of any other reason that, uh, especially without looking and kind of committing uh, to yeah. that one on one anyhow. Because there is times where you drop a smoke and you play the edge of it as you think they're going to peek out because they think you're on the bomb. I can see the merit there. Tried to go for the kit. Didn't work out. Uh, if he found that last frag, that would have been an ace for him. Uh, but not going to be so. Dignitas pick up their eighth round and continue their success. CTs, you can see that they are in force by territory. They uh, they are not okay with giving up any more rounds, and I cannot blame them, as it is uh, at least slightly CT-sided map. We're going to see MSL try and poke push through the long pipe and Bully actually moves up, switches weapons and wow. forces his way through. He, he finds Nico, but then it's going to be Kirby that eventually takes him down. XPG with one as well before getting dropped. And now it's only Mady C and Petit Scale and they're both coming Holy up smokes. from a short and yeah, we got a lot of smoke grenades going on here. Eventually the CTs make it up into the site and Nade's going to put an end to Petit Scale. Now only Mady C 
And he's trying to lurk and utilize these smokes to his advantage. Does have a flash as well, but it's going to be him to find his location. Drops him with a headshot, and this is a very convincing match thus far. LDLC Blue, even in situations where they should have an advantage, Dignitas just managed to climb their way back in. Yeah, it just shows how good of a team they are when you can work your way back from deficits. And LDLC, man, dealing with a different beast here. Dignitas... Must be just angry after coming out their loss to NIP or something and taking it out on our poor Frenchman here. And if LDLC are going to come back, I mean, it has to start now because this is getting out of control for them. They can't string all the remaining rounds together. I don't see Dignitas struggling as much as LDLC is on their CT side. Player already dropped early for LDLC. Nobody out long for them and two players in B. Staying really patient here is Dignitas. Oh, EDM pushes out of the sewer, finds Kierby. Really forward positions here for the CTs and taking it really patiently is Dignitas. Working their way back with the bomb towards B with an additional player and leaving two lingering towards the A side. Hoping that LDLC perhaps will come through with a flank, but oh, they try to flank onto B, falling right into the hands of AZ. Now running through the fire. Oh, they're split up though. AZ in a one versus one with Bully. Bully needs this. MSL just waiting through the fire and now leaves his team made to die. As they move up short as well, good flash into the bomb site. Everybody here for each team, three on three. Petit can't find the kill. XPG from above, one for one trade. They're going for the bomb plan here, even though one player's in the water. Oh, Petit goes down. He needed that badly. Nico. So just XPG here, one on two. And he's making his way in. Both Dignitas members sitting at short here, going for the trade. Unless XPG has a smoke. Oh, they have nothing. Uh, he's just going to have to. Go for some aim duels here. Try not to allow Dignitas to trade off. Get spotted. XPG doesn't know that both of them are there. And yeah, he's just going to save it. If he doesn't get that first kill, it's probably a better decision to save. But with how little rounds they have currently, I, I suppose he didn't have a kit. So yeah, this is the best decision. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's difficult. Oh, wow. Never Nico mind. close lines him as he makes it up the stairwell very, very quickly. And rest in pieces, that rifle will not make it into this next round. And that, that's so. cool by Nico to to realize immediately that he wh where the save is p probably going to come through. And I I don't think Bully had any idea there. No, not at all. Through. And impressive stuff as yeah, XPG again drops at the end of the round, and now Dignitas up ten to one. And finally, LDLC Blue they they have to save. And it's because they've been just buying out entirely every round. The Dignitas are just bullies. Yeah, they're just going to bully their way into this B-bomb site. Petit skill, last one in the situation. And he only finds a single frag for himself. They need rounds at this point. One frag is not going to do it, as we see everybody except for AZ above 10,000. Oh, actually, I lied. Nico will be below as well. But nonetheless, you can see that they've got an incredible amount of money behind their play and now CTs again with full loss bonus and saving that last round they get more than enough money to throw around in this round so everything on the board that they uh they, they require and it's going to be two ops XPG with one he's going to be opting towards the long pipe finds a single shot almost the collateral as Nico is right behind him but Nico able to trade as they come on on over to this b-bomb site once again yeah they just keep hitting it LDLC haven't been able to stop him yet oh petite Finally shuts them down. Three frags. As Dignitas try to split up into the site. Now just one member remaining. It's going to be Pimp Ben. I assume he's going to fall to the flanker here in just a moment. Maybe even oh, wants goodness. to shank him. Oh, behave. <laughs> just, I suppose you got to throw something back in your the, the sale uh, of your team's wins. Or, I don't know, man. You got to try to revitalize your team with some humor or something it's it's unnecessary that uh, for the economy and everything i suppose it's a little extra money but yeah that was that was a little salt there yeah he's gonna grab that knife frag and now 11 to 2 a dignitas finally drop their second round of this half but best score line ldlc blue can now hope for is 11 to 4 and that's still a very, very dominant T side from Dignitas moving into the favored CT half. Uh, I, I can't see a situation where I'm going to be honest that LDLC can bring it back. But it says Counter-Strike, anything can happen. And Dignitas, they're going to move up for a quick A take here. AZ already takes down May DC. The trade comes in XPG with that op. And actually, Heatum chimes in 
onto Kirby as he tries to aggress into the B bomb site. So now a three on four as they've kind of split up their offense a little bit and Bully takes down another one. MSL gets dropped, but Nico takes down to the op of XPG and now it's only Pimp. 1v3. He's at front of side A. Keatum thinks that he could have rotated actually Bully on a similar page. Uh, and I think he must have just spotted him out there. So yeah, they rotate all three players back on over and I'm just going to have to Hit some nice shots here if he wants to make it through this round and, and collect that 12th for his team. And I'm not sure. There's Whoa. the first. Oh, shot. Petit shows his head and it is clean taken off by Pimp here. And one of the players that was EDM thinking about flanking all the way back around. And Pimp not buying it just yet. He heard the player shoot inside of the site, taking the fight. Oh, bully. There's a nice headshot on the Pimp. So the LC perhaps will finish off the half, uh, you know, winning out, but that only amounts to four rounds. So not as good as they would have hoped for here. And just going into the next half, they're going to need pistol round, first gun round, before they can even think about dropping any rounds. So any point, if Dignitas gets momentum on CT, spy. that's going to be it. And, oh, triple scope. Chad, help me out. Oh, we got a triple scope, but I'm more referring to the oh, other end of things. We got a quad Pro 90. Scopes <laughs> then... versus P90s. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be interesting as they storm their way into B. Definitely the bomb site that would favor that kind of rifle, but quickly they realize they've got an auto sniper to deal with. That's KDM uh, playing from heaven, and it's going to be Bully to follow up XPG and a MSL, and they do get the bomb down, but post-plant, this is looking a little bit dangerous as Pimp will find May DC Kirby lurking inside of the smoke, and they're already on the bomb. Bully will find that defuse, and what a crazy round and the half. That was ridiculous. P90s versus scopes. I don't feel like I got a solid answer to that question, though. The Which one wins? Three yeah. scopes or four pro 90s? Hmm. Yeah. I, I gotta go with the scoped rifles. I gotta go with the scoped rifles. Only because, and it obviously comes down to a lot of hitting shots and who does, who doesn't. But I, I feel like if if we're on level playing fields, I, I think that the, the, the scoped rifles, they're just so damaging. Oh, yeah. Uh, they've got to go with the, the W there. Well, yeah. It's just so much. just a goofy, random situation that we're probably not going to see for some time. <laughs> Four P90s and an op. That is... Uh, a hell of a T-side strat, similar to, I'm thinking back to, again, I've brought it up multiple times, but Team Acer versus Fnatic, and their best of three that was brought very, very close. Fnatic playing around a little bit in the, the last round of their CT half, and it could have been 12-3, to 3, but in their uh, last round, it was 10-4, to 4, and they decided to go with the five-op strat on the CT side of Overpass, and uh, needless to say, didn't work out for them, and ended up being Team Acer finding their fourth round and actually coming back and making a very close comeback on their CT side. But anyhow, some craziness that we witness once in a while, but we want to let you guys know this match is brought to you in part by Zowie Gear. If you guys are in the market for some new peripherals or you need to upgrade yours because it's just not working for you anymore, definitely check out ZowieGear.com as they've got their EC series if uh, you want the non-ambidextrous mice, the FK series if uh, you're into the ambidextrous kind of simple uh, mice as well. And then obviously they've got a nice range of a couple mouse mats and their Kamade and their mouse cord holder. Definitely check out all that stuff as uh, you can see it on display uh, I was even just watching TSM and, and Zipnix, I noticed, has that exact same uh, mouse cord, cord holder that I utilize. So, again, check out Zowie Gear, ZowieGear.com, for any of those peripheral needs. But second pistol round about to go live. LDLC Blue, they have to get this pistol round. If they don't, they leave themselves very, very little uh, to work with once they get rifles into their hands. And they... if. Even if it's close, like they can't afford to lose any rounds based upon the score differential uh, with the three-way exactly. tie here. So if it's 16 to 14 and LDLC win, they still don't make it. So yeah. they need to dominate this T side half. And being on the non or unfavorable side, it's going to be difficult to do so. It all starts with a T side pistol heading over towards A with all of their players throwing a bit of a fake towards B. Now it's going to be three long and two splitting the bathrooms for Dignitas. Looks like they have the A bomb site stacked. Once again, with the right read on CT side pistol, all comes down to this opening flurry. Who's it going to go to? Pimp early on. Daisy looking to support from the spawn. Trades favoring Dignitas here, still trying to come up long. MSL is already on the flank. And now just Petit Scout, one versus two. 
This is pretty much the match here for LDLC. Petit needs this so badly. Looking for a pimp, running out of bullets. Four health remaining. Kierby is going to take it for Dignitas. And that is so unfortunate for LDLC Blue. If they don't, they need they need to win this round. It, it, they got a Tech 9 Force by. They got to know what's at stake here. If it, if, it, if the score ends at 16 to 13, that's a nightmare situation. We're, we have a three-way tie again. And if LDLC Blue allow Dignitas to 14 rounds, as I said before, they still can't move on. So LDLC, do or die here. That's exactly right. And they are going to equip themselves accordingly. Go with the Tech-9 armor. ADC going to be the lone soldier heading towards this B-bomb site. Little does he know. Well, he must have realized that MSL completely white screen hand to his face, but it's going to be AZ and Nico to open up. Petite skill finally. He will trade. But in a three on four where they got petite skill on seven hit points. So it's looking bleak. Uh, one thing they do have going for them, no CTs currently at uh, at the bomb site. They are Quick attempting flank. to hit. Oh, neat, or sorry, Pimp comes in on the flank. Heat him, finds one more. But that's not going to be enough. 13 to four, the scoreline Dignitas. They are shutting down the dreams here so, of LDLC Blue. Yep. Poor LDLC, this looks like. Not going to be making it into the bracket stage of the Pro Series. And now they just got to force by every single time because now all they can hope for is to force the three-way tie. And then if, if that happens, Chad, I mean, that, that's just going to make things extremely interesting. So if LDLC could take this and win the rest, we, we might see a three-way tie, but looking highly improbable here. Dignitas rushing into the stairs. I love what they do on their CT side. On the first gun rounds, they'll throw something crazy at you. So it's just setting the tone that, hey, we're crazy. We're willing to do these crazy things very early on. And now, last two players on the T oh. side. Very quickly, their uh, round ends as AZ and MSL. They just pinch that position, 14 to four. Two more for Dignitas, and they will close it out and find their way to the first seed coming out of this group. Second seed will be Epsilon. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I thought LDLC Blue definitely had a good shot at making it as well. They had some impre impressive performances in the original group stage best of ones. But I, I think it is done and over with now. As even if they brought it back, like we were saying, 16 to 14, they still don't make it through. So Dignitas, we, we can fairly congratulate them. And, yeah, uh, seed one, right? To, they will be seed one, correct. As Petite Skill, oh, well, he's not done yet. He's going to come up with two. He's got Kirby lurking to the smoke, and as soon as he goes for the reload, Kirby's going to hunt him down. 15 to 4, one round away from closing out this map, and again, ending uh, the group stages of our European Pro Series. Yeah, and so it'll be Dignitas, number one seed, and they will be facing the winner, or they'll be facing off, who, uh, G Play, I want to say? And I'm, I don't I'm quote not me on that, but I'm like 80% yeah. sure on that. But Epsilon will be the second seed moving Right, out. so yeah, yeah. They would be against G-Play, and then the winner of that goes on to face uh, against LGB. I th yeah, I think you're on point there. All right. It's rare, it's rare that I'm on point with that stuff, but I'm glad <laughs> I got it that time. AZ here. Looking to finish it off. Early op frag on the EDM as the rest of LDLC Blue incredibly spread out across the map. They're, they had a couple players trying to come up playground now. Just left at the stairs area. One near the fountain, looking real grim here. Dignitas moving out of the groups with number one seed. Good stuff from them. And for this, these upcoming matches, going to be this is when it starts getting really interesting now.